Electricity from wind or solar power is converted into heat, which warms the sand up to around 500 degrees Celsius. Crucially, the sand can keep this heat without loss, potentially for months. Here in Kankanpa, the heat in the sand battery is then used to help power the district heating system. Keeping homes, offices and indeed swimming pools warm all year round. Okay, what I'm trying here is what they're calling a sand battery, a heat battery. So I've got a 120 volt, 2000 watt heater element wired direct to a 110 plug, standard plug. Put this thermometer in here. For bacon and cooking cookies, steaks and taters. Here's some sand I collected in the desert. There's tons of it out here. It's just quicker to get that rather than drive 35 miles for one experiment. Here's Buffy and Ranger. Okay, here's a, a little follow-up on these solar panels. I kind of rushed through that one uh, video I did in the past prior. I didn't show how this is wired up. So I have six, pan six panels. Each one is uh, 85 watts each, and they're 60 volts. So they're made for a 48 volt system. I've got them wired at 120 volts DC. So all I did is I wired this cord. This is a standard house plug. I didn't wire, I, I it bypassed the uh, ground, just cut it short and just wired the hot white and black wires, use them as a negative and positive. Now on a lot of things, uh, like a heat element, it doesn't matter if it's AC or DC. So, here, okay, so this plug is a standard household plug, it's setting out in the dirt for a bit, and uh, This is a Makita Speedy Cut cut off. I showed this on a previous video. Now this is 510 watts. So it's a little shy on the water. So I'm going to put more water on it. But it works great. But that's not what I'm doing here. I just wanted to demonstrate that again. What I got going here is this battery, sand battery. <laughs> See how this goes. So, there's the heat element, the thermometer. See how she works. Now my plan is to just stuff this into the sand. That's going good so far. Okay, that's good. Put our thermometer in here. What do we got going anyway? So it's not even going to register. Don't register until it gets to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, 54 Celsius. So <laughs> what happens now when we plug this? into here yeah, yeah, yeah. is it going to blow up well we're going to find out because <laughs> that's what it's all about somebody's got to do it so it shouldn't be a big deal there we go she's plugged in all right
it's plugged in I'm not sure what time it is I think it's about 1 30 I'll check in a minute and I'll come back and check it in a few hours okay it was approximately 1 15 when I fired her up look at here <laughs> it's at a hundred and what almost 50, 140 degrees almost exactly 140 and that sand I, I I scooped it up out of the desert so it was you know if it was 45 50 degrees it might have been 60 degrees with the sun shining on it either way it's been about an hour so we'll check back in an hour okay I left for a while and came back and the temperature had started dropping so I brought it in the house at this point it's right at about 140 degrees now the question will be how long does it hold the heat so I'll start timing that now so it's been in the house for about an hour maybe a little longer and it's still at 130 degrees and it's dropping fairly fast but it's a small container I think the 55 gallon drum with maybe six of these or however many it takes will be uh, another story <laughs> 